Hello and welcome back to The Dig on Kenai Gaming. We are going to go back into the shuttle. Maybe. Oh, I'm on the outside. Uh, okay. He's the pilot, right? So maybe it's... Oh, sorry. My glasses are not liking my headset right now. Let's talk to Borden. This is low. Do you read? I'm here, boss. Okay. Both nukes are in place and armed. There we go. We made pretty good time, I think. Looks good, boss. Come on back inside for the fireworks. I'm back inside. Confirm everybody inside. All in, Cora. All clear payload. All clear landing team. All clear shuttle. Confirm doors closed. Doors closed. All right, are we all clear? I think we're all clear. I think we might be. All right, we get to watch this thing go pop. Or so we think. There's certainly a lot of sound of rocks moving and whatnot. We need the light that only projects so far. Looks like there's plenty of light down there already. And I like how the background and everything is like, you know, pixel art type stuff and the pig is just a, you know, 3D rendered whatever. see an odd thing under your butt and apparently it's a metallic plate look at this break this can't be natural definitely not a metal plate definitely an artifact an artifact <clears throat> something like this in a tunnel. Yes, yes, I think it's clear. Wherever Attila came from, there was someone there. Could this be part of some kind of message? Like the one NASA put in Voyager. If it's a message, I don't understand it. Whatever it is, we've got to tell Houston immediately. Negative, Robbins. I'm clamping down total security as of this moment. You've got to be kidding. You've been telling me all along you just want to be an ordinary member of the mission. I've had secret orders all along to look for any sign of alien presence on this rock. And now that we've found it, my instructions are clear. What I want to hear from both of you right now is I understand, Commander Lowe. 
I understand and agree, Commander Lowe. There is nothing to be gained from a premature announcement. Rabbit. I understand, Commander Lowe. Ken! Ken, Lowe here. I read you, boss. Tell Houston that I said Attila's a real hunt. What? Is that some kind of joke? Just tell them, Ward. You'll receive new communication protocols immediately afterward. Oh, cool. This is like a secret code. Just think, Cora. You're the only one in Congress who knows anything about this. Houston says the message is received and they're transmitting new codes. We're getting back to work down here, Ken. Low out. I'm giving this baby a little push. If that doesn't work, Commander, give it a big push. The plate just dropped down inside something. The plate is gone? Uh, yep. And what is with this? That's just really weird right there. All right, small shaft. It's a small dark opening. So it's, okay, it's a small dark opening. It's a small dark opening. Um. It's a small dark opening. Okay, salmon. It's a small dark. Opening. Yes, yes, it's a small dark opening. Why does my mouse keep jumping around? Uh, shovel. Why not? It won't accomplish anything. I can't use these two things together. I think you're right, Brink. The stone projection is a natural. Yes, but what is it doing here? <laughs> Brink, I wish I knew what these odd projections are. I've taken pictures of them for analysis. When did you do that exactly? Frank, I wish I knew what these odd projections are. I've taken pictures of them for analysis. Yes, he told me. And you know what? Maybe there's something under there. I may be criticized for it later, but I'm gonna dig out one of these odd projections. It's your decision, Commander. Yes, yes, it is, Brink. Sounds really weird. It's just... Hey, and look at that. It's a triangle. <clears throat> okay, so it's another metal plate. I wish mm. there were some sort of inscription. Inscription. We're three for three here, folks. I've heard of putting a message in a bottle, but never in a big rock. Yeah, that's how they do stuff in space. Now that's a big plate. So let's go in the order that we found them. I'm going to push another one. So is all that light supposed to be from the pig? I wish it... we could be sure we weren't destroying whatever message they meant us to receive. It seems to me that if they didn't mean us to push these metal plates, we wouldn't be able to push them. It's just really weird that you can see that the pig should be shining this way, so this light is probably from it. But when it came down, they could have at least had the background change when the pig was down here, but whatever. Here's number three. All right. It disappeared too. What do these say, anyway? It's a small dark opening. Okay, that was a small dark opening. Is this a small dark opening? It's a deep hole into the rock. Ah, that one's a deep hole. Let's see what the this other one is. Here's the last one. Going for home. Well, we've done it. Whatever it is we did. Yeah, well... Alright, this one says Dark Tunnel. Well, here goes nothing. We're with you, Commander. Okay, let's go down this pre-rendered, uh... Cutscene... Sequence thing. It looks like a kite. All right, we've entered the damage roll of a great sword. So the asteroid is home. Time to update Houston. Low to shuttle. Mm-hmm. Static. Must be all this rock. We're cut off. Should we go back outside and call them? Nah, they can sit tight for a few more minutes while we poke around. Yes, while we poke around, vent.
A small vent leading back to the outer chamber. Oh, is it? Is there anything else besides whatever that is? Pedestal. Uh, okay. Well, it seems like our only course of action is to go to the pedestal. Now, I wonder if this is the thing that I remember. Because I could have sworn there was something that looked like the little button on the thing that I can't remember what they call it in this. Oh, oh, oh. Does that look familiar there? That's it. This is the thing. Bam. Do I really have to... I gotta do that for each one? See, that's kind of their clue if you can't figure it out anyway. This looks like... Shallow indentation set into the raised platform. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, Lo. Eh. Oh, you can just right-click and bring this up. I did not know that. Pen ultimate. Yeah, it looks like that button. Now, that's really weird that they did... Okay. I'm gonna save the big one for last. Bam. And, uh-oh. We made a triangle. <sighs> What's happening? I'm moving. Roll for damage. Oh, whoa, what the heck? I think that was just some, uh, artifacts or whatever from the old stuff. So now we have traveled to who knows where, to this planet that is mostly water. Now we've set the gem in our ring. All right. Die. I say we take them off and save the remaining oxygen for the return trip. If there is a return trip. As I was saying, maybe. If you're gonna die, why not do it quicker? The air tastes good. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. Attila was a spaceship all along. A starship, faster than light. We're not in our own solar system. No planet but Earth has an atmosphere like this, and this ain't Earth. After so many years of bad TV shows and crackpots with phony pictures, here is the real proof. There is alien life. Load a cockpit, over. Load a payload, over. Yeah, I'd say we're out of range. Way out of range. I don't see any aliens coming to greet us. For all we know, it might have been a million years since these people sent out Attila, and they long since died out. I don't know about you, but I didn't pack a lunch. Or a can of pop. Well, we might as well look around and learn what we can about this place. We might be here a while. Alright, there we go. We got our controls back, and that means I'm going to end this episode. So, if you liked this one, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more, then hit that subscribe button to join the collective. 
And next time, we will explore this little alien planet. And I say little just because it seems like an island, which is a small part of the planet. Other than that, till next time, I'll be seeing you.